Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to this Let's Try of Star Steel Fantasy. This is an Apple Arcade, sorry, not Apple Arcade, ugh, an iOS game with Crunchyroll kind of in command of it. I'm going to try to turn up the volume. There we go. It is rated ages 12 plus, just so parents know. I'm guessing they're going to have some kind of fan service stuff, maybe. Uh, there are also in-app purchases. I don't know if there are, in fact, worries with communicating with other people. But this game is known as a Match 3 JRPG. Okay. Oh, more 3D than I expected. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Seems like the sound effects outside of battle are a little louder than everything else. Hmm. So attack this line by matching. Okay. And it looks like, yeah, the iPad that I am using may not be quite the best for this one. Okay. Magic attack. Enemy attack, huh? How was that for? See how weak that attack was? Prior to your sword attack. So Adeline is better with the sword. Got it. Ooh, a special tile. The white mage here is strong with spirit gems. Okay. So in the white mage. Alright. Do that. And then the ooze is attacking. Okay. White mage can heal when they use star gems. Okay. Hmm. I'm betting it's a finisher move. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. We leveled up already. Nice. Plus it. Signature move. Enemy hero has a unique signature ability. Adeline, your signature ability is Frost. Frost is strong physical damage and has a chance to apply freeze. Ooh, prevents turns. Okay. You'll need to fill up your signature energy bar. Got it. After each turn, you'll gain energy. Trigger a physical attack now. So it'll take five turns, I guess? Hmm. Okay. We have one slot filled up in the energy bar below the frost icon, which is kind of the top right of that whole menu. Got it. Okay, we can match signature energy gems to make that move faster. Ooh, that's a lot faster. Got it. Okay. So I can just click on the signature move, right? Aha. Oh, we can do the signature move and another thing. Well, that's great. Okay. I like it. Okay, cross bonus tiles, vertical, horizontal. Okay, so here's where the matching portion comes in. <laughs> okay, we can get bonus gems. Got it. We get combo attacks. Match wars create these treasure chest looking gems. Okay, match fives create. The Super Treasure Chest Bonus Gym. You trigger the gems that they point at by three times. Okay. Tap or swap a bonus to trigger. Uh, boop. And it looked like it activated everything attached to the other one as well. Okay. Nice. Non-match rules. Okay, sometimes you can... Make your teammates turn better. Hmm. Swap the gym into a great position. Okay. So then we can set up a bonus gym. Nice. Okay. Reminds me a little bit of Grindstone. Nice work on the basic training. Use what you've learned to defeat me. Well. Okay then. Oh, uh, let's see. That's the simple move. We can do a four there. Hmm. We can do five down here, of course. Get all that stuff. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Frost isn't very charged yet, so let's do this. And be sad. Okay. Let's do that. So we've got Regenerate up, if you want to use that. Looks like it's easier to charge than Frost. Can I use Frost? Oh, I can't. 
I thought it'd move more. Okay, we got the freeze off. Excellent. What's the treasure chest do? You didn't even have to explain that, now did you? Three times something. Oh good, and her regenerate ability is separate. Okay. Plus 10% minor regenerate. Um, we could do two, three, oh. Okay, unlike grindstone, you can't really test your move first. I'm going to turn down the volume a bit. Hmm. So that's a thing. So once you swap, it's done. Okay. I think we win. Well, you've improved greatly. I think you're ready to experience real battle, Lady Evelyn. Yes, I know you want me to be cautious, and I will, but I'm ready to go out and do what I was born to do. Defend my people. I'll discuss the matter with your noble mother and father later today. Until then, you need to wake up, Lady Adeline. I can't tell you, just add it. Wait, what did you say? There's fire on the horizon. You must wake up! Is that, is that some kind of metaphor, or...? Follow the smoke. Find the portal. Save the village. Wake up! So, green, I'm guessing. Okay. So you get different rewards based on how well you did. What's that? stone thing. Is that a piece of iron? For upgrading weapons? Maybe? Hmm. Right. The... Far Thorn? I guess because he's an archer? Chapter map. Booyah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We have to defeat all enemies in less than 30 turns. It may require collecting a gem type or beating a time limit in the future. Potential rewards. Chance to collect each time you successfully complete the stage. Okay. Yep. And star rewards only happen the first time. Okay. You need that star amount. Okay. We've only got Adeline. Okay. Oh, Marco has a farm. Hmm. That dream again. I know it's key of remembering my past, but the details are always so fuzzy by the time I wake up. I remember my name and how to swing my sword, but not where I was or who I was with or why I've been trained to fight. I wish I could remember. So here I am, wandering for months with still no clue about who I am or even how I lost my memory. All I have is a sword and this weird lump of metal in my pocket that no one I've met has been able to identify. I was willing to trade anything for. I could really use a hot meal. Is that smoke in the distance? Looks like the cooking fires in the next town are already up and going. Maybe I can offer some security services to the local tavern in return for breakfast? It's worth a try. Wait, that's far more smoke than there should be just from cooking fires. The whole village is burning down. There are probably people that need help. Ugh, I'm so bored. You know the others will hold back on all the good loot. Only the dregs left for the lookouts. Would you stop complaining so loudly? You're defeating the point of lookout duty. Besides, the captain always makes sure the loot gets divided up fair and square. Bandits. Something tells me they're responsible for the fire. I surprised them. I might be able to take them both out and let them stop me from getting to the village. Okay, and then there's the elemental system. Got it. Fire, wind, water, light, and dark. Very similar to Puzzle and Dragons and all that stuff. Okay, then. So Adeline is apparently water type. Hmm. Okay. Two bins. Yep, okay, she is water affinity, right? Frost. Should have thought of that. Okay. Fire affinity bandit. And it does say strong above it when you're targeting that guy. Okay. Let's do this. Yep, I, I already did that. Okay. Yep. We're going to do that. Beautiful. Okay. Ouch. This was pain. And what happens if I click this again? Yes. Beauty. Okay, and it only... Okay, so that's important to know. That it will only strike the one target. So, first we do this. Hopefully we freeze him. Nope. So you don't want to use your most powerful stuff immediately on somebody that's already weak. Because then you just use it up. Tisk, tisk. Um... Let's do that. Suggested thing. Seems decent enough. Get a little bit of magic. But we are weak to the woodsman. Hmm. Let's see. That moves everything down a bit. Hmm. 
Just thinking. Nothing great I want. This sets up a future thing with the purple gems. Which aren't our best anyway. But now we can do that. Aha. Okay. Well, let's get a four. Get another bonus gem, actually. Mm -hmm. This is not going the best ever. So we're doing that. Okay. Whew. I hate being outnumbered and being alone. But I've got to get to that village and help before it's too late. Yeah, it feels like the audio balance in this game is kind of off. Hmm. And we've unlocked Fiora, it looks like. Maybe. Okay, we go to the city. These villagers need help getting rid of these bandits and putting out these fires before the entire town burns to the ground. But there are too many bandits for me to fight by myself. Maybe I should ask the villagers if there are any fighters among them? Wait a minute, what's this? Okay, the weird metal in my pocket is now going off. First time that ever happened. Going to go out on a limb and assume it's related to this weird giant arch that I just walked by? Spare the portal at least. I beg you. Hi, don't worry, I'm not a bandit. I saw the smoke and I'm here to help. Who's in charge around here? Never mind that. What's that you've got? This weird metal? I don't know. I just had it in my pocket. How did... No time to ask questions. Put the metal inside the portal. What? Why? Just do it! That's no ordinary metal. It's called Star Steel, and it can summon heroes. Well, we could certainly use a few heroes right about now. Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's throw the metal bar into a portal and see what happens. Star Steel. Boom. Okay, well that doesn't look like the metal bar, so... That must be something different. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got Marco! Loyal Bettina. And he's fire type. Okay. We can summon again. I guess we have to, because it's telling us to. And I bet we get Emmy. Just an idea. No. Iltani. Natural Mystic. Okay. Well, she's wood type, so that makes sense. We get all the different normal affinities, other than light and dark. Lady Adeline, is that really you? I've been searching for you for months. Ever since the attack on Evergrove, the day you and your parents disappeared. People are saying that you must have perished that day, but I never stopped believing that you were out there somewhere. Lee? Noble parents? I'm sorry, do I know you? It's me, Marco. I don't know you, sir, and I certainly don't remember being a highborn lady. You don't remember? Your parents are the Lord and Lady of Evergrove. They brought you up to be their heir, to lead, and to govern. I've been in service to your family for over ten years, and I trained you in the way of the sword for most of that time. I've been searching for clues to who I am for so long, but nothing that you say sounds familiar. Although I'm getting flashes of that dream. What dream, my lady? Never mind. What would you say is my biggest weakness in a fight? You prioritize offense and neglect defense. You must learn the value of caution and... Sorry, I'm luxury. Maybe there's something familiar about you after all. <laughs> With who will leave, my lady, I will stay and fight by your side. Perhaps together we can trigger your memories. I certainly can use a skilled swordsman. That's why I used the arch thing in the first place. All right, Marco. Welcome to the team. Ahem. I hate to interrupt this reunion, but where are we and why is everything on fire? Great questions. Look, this village is under attack and I want to help. I can't do it alone. Will you assist me? I don't know. This is all so sudden. One second I was reading in the monastery, and the next... Monastery? That doesn't sound very promising for our purposes. How much combat experience do you have? None. In fact, I don't really believe in fighting. I'm studying hard so that I can fix things, not tear them apart. Studies? What are you, a philosopher? No, nothing so theoretical. I'm trained to become a healing mage. Oh, healing magic is actually very useful. Lady Adeline, she would be a good addition to the team. I'm sorry, but I'm just not a fighter. I'd rather work for peace. Listen, uh, actually, what's your name? Iltani. Iltani, we want the same thing you do. If we don't stop these bandits, the people of this town will never have peace. The situation does seem rather dire, and if this strange magic portal brought us together, perhaps it was for a reason. All right, I'll help you, at least this once. Great, a team of three. Now let's go save this town. Sounds like a plan. Okay, 
Now we have to add them to our team. Got it. Marco, where is Polo? Don't they stop Polo? Oh, to battle we will go without Polo. And to the tutorial stage two. Got it. Okay, we've got all that. Apparently, Adeline is a two-star fighter type person. Okay. It's nice that it shows you what the preferred gym is for people. Just in case you forget, swapping through teammates and stuff. Hey, you guys after some loot too? I promised my gang a good haul, but if you're not too greedy, I'm willing to throw you a bone or two if it means avoiding a fight. You and your bandits need to leave this town immediately. Bandits? Ah, can't you see I'm by myself? The people of this town are just trying to live their lives in peace. How could you do this to them? Hold the fort, kiddo. I didn't do anything to them. They're the ones who ran away and left all this stuff behind. Finders keepers. Maybe they wouldn't have run away if you hadn't set their town on fire. I didn't set anything on fire. I saw smoke in the distance, and I know a good opportunity for loot when I see one. So I'm taking advantage of that opportunity. Now if you'll excuse me, kid, I'm in the middle of something here. You dare speak so dismissively to Lady Adeline? Ooh, a fancy lady, huh? You look like a common rogue to me, but if you have this night guy hanging around you... A common rogue? How dare you? Marco, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but not now. Listen, you can call me whatever you want, but I won't let you steal from these townspeople. Why do you care so much? I can ask you the same thing. It's a lot of money to me. I thought that had already been established. <sighs> well, if you won't leave, then we'll make you leave. That's cute. Okay, little lady, go ahead. Make me leave. Okay. Yoink. Faltani is more powerful magical spirit. And some healing powers. Well, we have a 40 turn limit. Oh, this looks like a bigger board. That's nice. Hmm. So if I do... Hmm. No. Thinking of the cascading effects. No, no, seem great right now. Other than, let's see, it's Marco's turn. Hmm. I guess I'll just go ahead and do what they suggest. There's a chance that would be good. Uh, don't attack Marco. He's the only one with strength against you. Hmm. So, Adeline, it's better to just have her charge everybody up, like they suggest. Okay, you are a magic mage type. You can sink the reds a little bit. But I gotta go over here, I think. Reveal more. Get a little bonus gym thing. Hmm. Yes, this does seem like a good idea. We get chop. We get all the greens. Okay, you can mess me. Alright. So we're not going to mess with the purple gems if we can help it. Uh, so you go ahead and do this. And then you get us a better bonus gem. There we go. Hmm. What can we do for you, Marco? Hmm. Guess we'll have you chop. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. Ooh, taking significant damage there. Hmm. Let's just charge up some more of this. Oh, did we activate the bonus? No, we didn't. Okay, good. Hmm. Little Tani. We will go up here. This way we get two treasure chests next to each other. And now for Mako. We blitz! For free. And then we do this for more freedom. <laughs> Looks like you're no pushover. Time to get serious. Uh oh. Okay, deflected. Hmm. Hermina has increased her evasion temporarily. This gives her an increased chance to deflect an attack. When a deflect occurs, damage dealt is reduced by 50%. Signatures cannot be deflected. Oh, well. Too bad I kept using my signature. Thank you very much. Um, we can do a double cascade here. Not the best thing ever. But we have Blitz again. <laughs> so that could not be deflected. Hmm. What if I do that? Okay, not great. 
Not the worst thing ever. Uh oh. She destroyed Adeline. Hmm. What do you do? Perhaps I should have used this earlier? Oh, okay. We cannot uh, revive the dead. Good to know. Hmm. Let's make another gem. Okay. Um. I guess we'll go down here. Hmm. Yeah, with the bonus gems at the bottom, it's hard to get the good stuff done. Hmm. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. And Marco, you can get the four. There we go. You're tougher than I expected for a pampered highborn girl. You're pretty strong, too, but you could be even stronger. Yeah, yeah, you beat me, kid. Thanks for rubbing it in. That's not what I mean. I mean you could be stronger if you were fighting for a good cause. I'm already fighting for a good cause. Riches and security for yours, truly. There's more to life than money. More to life than... <gasps> Sorry, I have to catch my breath here. It... It's hard to laugh so hard with all this smoke in the air. Yes, thank you, my noble liege, for reminding me that wealthy noble women don't have to worry about money. I'm serious. You're very talented. You can do a lot of good in the world. Thanks for the career counseling, little lady. Anyway, you wanted me gone, so I'll just get going. Not so fast. Even if we believe that you didn't start these fires, you're still stealing. You need to face the law. The law? And who or what in this burning town full of panicking villagers is the law? I'm sure between the two of us, Marco and I can manage to haul you off to the magistrate in the next town over. That's true. I'm good at hauling. Or you could join with us and help us protect this town. You're overestimating your ability to capture me. However, your ability to annoy me seems to know no bounds. I have a feeling you won't stop pestering me until I give in. Fine, I'll help you protect the town, but I expect to be compensated for our work. We'll talk about that later. For now, welcome to the team. Hermina. Nice to meet you. My name's Adel, and this is Marco and Iltani. Now let's go save this village. Okay, so, yeah. I did not win that perfectly at all. <laughs> so we could go back and try to get those other star rewards. And we'd still get some other stuff as well. There's job board expeditions unlocked, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Rain, the Farthorn, greets us once again. Looks like it's a loading screen of just different people you can unlock. Hmm. Our next priority is putting out the fires raging throughout the town. Hermina, do you think you can help us with that? Last I checked, that was a job for the fire department. Look around. These people need our help. Can't you spare a little compassion? How would you feel if your home was burning up in flames? Who is this elf? Eltani is a trained mage from a famous monastery in Eshtar and a valuable member of our team. Yeah, well, I'm sure I know a lot more about villages burning down than some bookworm who spent her life locked up safely in a monastery. But fine, I'll help put out the fires. I still expect to be compensated. See, I knew you were a good person. I wouldn't completely trust her yet, Adeline. She's still only looking out for herself. Oh, Marco, if you don't give people a chance, they'll never change. Now let's get to work. Okay, we're ready to rebuild. Oh, uh, that's cool. So we get to rebuild stuff. Tap the city icon. Okay, why are we building the lumberyard first in a burning city? Just a fun little tidbit, I think. But uh, wood burns, but oh well. Okay. I mean, I get that we need more construction materials, but, uh, yeah, I think putting out the fire is better. Oh, well. So, click finish. Okay. We can build the farm now. I would like to build the farm. Thank you. So, there's probably going to be timers later on. Okay, build the bank. I would like to have a banco. Excellent. Hmm. Upgrading your city hall enables you to upgrade your other city structures. Okay. Yep. Much like other stuff. Boink. And this will probably take time, right? Or be instant. Oh, star steel can be used to upgrade stuff. Faster. Yep, if it'll let me. I am trying. Well, it seems like my finger's registering. Okay. Goodbye. Nation name. Okay. 
Lunaria. Take a page out of Final Fantasy 2 slash 4. Now that you've settled down and named your nation, the grateful villagers will provide gifts for daily visits. Um, okay. Ooh, okay. So that's how they explain the daily stuff. I claim my money. Anlin, I've discovered some mysterious inscriptions on the Star Steel portal. Most of it is instructions on how to operate the portal. However, it also mentions... The portal is the pride of our town. Thanks to you, it has escaped the attack completely unharmed. We are forever in your debt. I'm Cybella, the local shopkeeper, and our people would like to offer you a token of our gratitude. When the village was first attacked, we managed to hide away a valuable treasure, a special kind of star steel. Prism star steel? Yes, how did you know? Okay. So probably for the super rare summons or whatever. Right. Yep, rare summoning. Hmm. You can summon the mightiest of heroes. Okay. Hmm. So it'll take time. So we don't have that yet. Job boring. Ooh. Embark. Okay. Await villagers' expedition. We have to send them off with resources. Mm-hmm. Town is grateful. Yep, yep, yep. All right, then. Anything else? Hmm. You know where I'm from, but I don't know why. But for some reason, I just don't feel ready to go back. That's just as well, Lady Adeline. I care about Evergrove, but it's not safe for you there right now. My first duty is to protect you and your family. Whoever it was who attacked Evergrove, they were targeting you and your family specifically. We should proceed with caution. At least wait until you get your memories back. Or find some other clue about who is targeting you. Proceed with caution. Right. Well, it's settled then. For the time being, I'm staying here. Okay then. Armina, how about you? Sure, just as long as you remember to give me my share of any loot. Lady Adeline doesn't loot. Well, I do sometimes find things. Gems, rare herbs, things like that. I'm happy to share anything that's legitimately free for the digging. Deal. Yeltani, that just leaves you. The reason I became a healer was because I wanted to help people. Well, these people need my help. I've been locked away studying long enough. Okay, then. We now have four people. Okay, then. So we have a story. We have the Stormlands and all that. So if you've enjoyed this, dear viewer, leave a like. Subscribe to see more I was Gaming videos. Comment below on what you think of Star Steel Fantasy. So far, it seems like, you know, decent artwork. Seems like the fun match three, if you like that. So, yeah, yeah. I hope you... Have a great day.